Hard time making roofs? Don't worry, Bowtie's got you covered. Minecraft roofs. A lot of people I know have a really hard time coming up with looking roofs in the game of Minecraft, but really, if you spend a little bit of time and you learn a few basic types of roofs, they're not too difficult once you know what you're doing. The problem is learning what to do and getting familiar with the different styles and the different types of roofs that you can make inside of Minecraft. So in today's video, I decided to go over some of the different types of roofs that I know how to make, many of which I've already used in my own worlds, different variations of them and, and more interesting roofs to really help you improve your Minecraft building. And this is gonna be part one in a video series. The next video that I plan on doing on this is gonna be how to detail your roofs and make them look more interesting. So this video is about just getting the roof together, the basic design, the basic shape. And then the next video will go and take your roofs to the next level and turn them into something that looks absolutely great. So the first roof that we'll go over, this is a pretty basic one. You'll see this in just about every Minecraft village that you'll go into, they use this sort of style and it's probably the easiest one to learn how to make. You probably already know how to do it. I'm trying something different with this video where hopefully I can show you a, in more of a pattern grid-like shape of how to build each roof so you can see exactly which, bla which place each block goes and how to place them and, and what type of block that you're using. This sort of grid pattern will really help you put each roof together. So I'll show you the front, you know, how it normally is, then I'll show you the back on how it's actually put together as we go over each style. This second roof is pretty much the same as the first one that we went over, just with a couple added blocks in here. So the first one was made out entirely of stairs. Now we got in some full blocks and some slabs to add in just a little bit of extra detailing here. Got an upside down stair at the top and then a backwards facing stair here as well, just to give a little bit more interest and detail to the roof. So here's the back side with the grid pattern here on how to make it. So as you can see, you go up on the sides using all stair blocks top I used a backward stair and same thing going back down uh, all using stair blocks again uh, the full blocks only really come in at the base here just to help us transition into our slabs to add a bit of detail now, if you really want to in your roof you can bring that all the way across and of course as you make this roof if you make a bigger version you can follow the same sort of pattern and bring these slabs out as far across as you want to get the look that you desire this next roof is a bit more of a shack and you can build this in a couple of different ways. My preferred way of doing it is using some stairs and slabs and you can come up across like this. So these are all stairs and we get to this top block where um, it looks like a full block, but it really isn't. This is two slabs on top of each other. And this is just an upside down stairs, which to me gives a little extra detail, a little extra interest to the build. Uh, so basically the concept of this one is you just have two roofs. They don't have to actually touch or intersect with each other as you can see here on the side. Works great if you're doing two buildings right next to each other of different sizes, or if you're just having a, an extension to a house or a home that you're building. On the back side here, you're hopefully able to see a little bit better of how to make this. So again, like I said, I'm using mostly slabs going up across. We got a double slab right there on uh, two different blocks and our stairs just added a little bit of extra detailing. And we do the same thing here as well. So we come up with our slabs, stair block, double slab. And you can extend this out for as long as you like with the roof and play around with different shapes and sizes. This next roof is basically combining the first couple of designs together just to give you an idea of like how to kind of mix and match different styles. So on our right side here, we have the basic staircase design, throwing in some of the extra detailing from the second roof. And on the left side here, we're using the slab and stair approach from uh, the third roof that we just went over. The point here is that you can take different types of roofs and combine them together to come up with your own style, your own design that no one else has done. Play around with the different shapes. See how you can make them join together and just, just have fun, just experiment with this stuff. And here we are on the backside again. You can see a little bit better how the roof came together. So this side, we're all coming up with our slabs and the stairs, and then we join at top with the more traditional roof going back down on the other side using all the stair blocks. These next few designs can work out really well for churches. You want to go for a steeple type of look, or even in some situations, you might be able to get away with having these as a barn roof design. So this one here comes up a little bit more on an angle. It's a little bit of a sharper pointy roof, which is why I say it looks good for a steeple sort of look. So here we are on the back side where you can get a better idea of how the roof is built using full blocks, slabs, and stairs. 
So it's a repeating design, so you can make your building wider and just repeat the design over and over again until you get your desired height and your meeting point in the center here. Uh, the only one that's different is this bottom level here. So we go slab, full block, slab. All the other ones are going to be stair, full block, slab. This roof type here is the same sort of concept as our last one that I said is good for steeples. Uh, this one we're just sticking with full blocks and slabs. So as you can see here, the design starts out the same with the slab, full block, slab. And then from there, you can just go up with full blocks until you get to your desired meeting point or height in the middle there. So this is basically the same type of roof, just not as steep. This here is a style of roof that I've become kind of known for if you see any of my survival building on Twitch. So what I do here is I come up and start with the traditional style of stairs, and then I start getting into a more steep approach with the roof before coming back down on the other side with the stairs again. And here you are, you can see it's almost entirely made up of stairs with a couple of full blocks in there once we start getting to the steeper point. Now, the main thing that I do when I make this roof and I work on larger builds or wider builds is I'll always come in with stairs. And then once we're past what I call like the support corner, uh, which is the you know corner of the actual base building, I come in one more with an upside down stairs and that's when I start doing my steeper part of the roof. So you can play around with that, see if that works. Maybe you wanna come in a little bit further. Maybe you wanna start right on the corner, but this is what I have found works best for me in making this style of roof. So the last few designs I described as being appropriate for churches and steeples. This one, you could still use it for a church, but I think it's gonna work out a lot better if you're gonna use it for a barn. So you have, you know, the straight up part there and then it curves and flattens out at the top uh, and then it comes back down on the other side. Here you can see a bit better how to make the roof using full blocks, stairs, and slabs. And this design could also work out really well if you wanted to have this become maybe a uh, covered bridge or even a tunnel for transportation to go back and forth through. So these don't only have to be for, you know, buildings. You can use them for other structures as well. By now, I hope you've paid attention enough to the video to recognize that this roof type is basically the same thing from the beginning. The only difference here is we have a double. So pretty much any of the different roofs we got over down there can be doubled up like this. Here you can go on the back how to see this one's using only stair blocks. Uh, just like the traditional village roofs that you'll see in Minecraft. And this style can be really useful if you wanna have decorations on a much bigger, larger roof to have like A-frame windows, or if you're working on maybe a row of townhouses, row houses as, as you know they are, they're called in some places, uh, you can use this roof design quite a bit in, in that sort of situation. So here we go, we have the same concept again with the double arches in the roof. Um, this time I just used a different design to, uh, simply to show off the fact that you can do this with, with pretty much any of these roof styles that we're going over. This design for the roof is a little bit different than any of the other styles that I've shown off, working with just stair blocks and full blocks, uh, but you can get an idea of how you can see. It's kind of similar to the roof that I said I was known for before. Um, so you come in, you get your stair block, and then you get your upside down stair, full block, right side up stair, I guess that's how you call it. And then you just repeat that pattern until you get up to the top. So this design is just another concept again, showing you that you can combine different roof types to get something that's a little bit more interesting if you're going for something that's not symmetrical. So looking at it from this side, hopefully it's a little bit clearer what I did here. Uh, I went for the staircase look up on one side, just making a very more steep look with the staircases and then going down on the other side, uh, we go a little bit more gradually with our decline using our slabs and stairs to uh, to detail it. This roof here is basically just a, a shack. You know, this could work out really well in, in, in a merchant district or maybe you just have some single building vendors that are, are walk up and go where you have that service window out front that would be facing on, on that side. Uh, this could work out really well for that, or you know, it could just be a storage shed out back for a home that you're making. So the blocks to do this style of roof, you can use stairs and slabs going all the way up. There are no full blocks in this one, and it's a pretty simple, easy roof to make. And you can extend this out. You can double up on these slab blocks if you want it to be, you know, a wider uh, build with a more gradual incline. Uh, that's all up to you. This roof is the same exact concept as our previous roof. This time I'm just showing you that you can mix it up and, and do different things with it. You don't have to just do the slabs going up. This one I went for a full stair approach to get a much steeper 
roof on here. And on this side, as you can see, all we're using here is just a simple staircase going all the way up. So this is, you know, again, just more for connecting and to hopefully get you thinking about how you can do the same style roof using different blocks and getting a completely different look from it. Here's a style of a roof that I plan on working with in the near future as I want to start doing some turf houses. Um, now, this is just your standard vanilla Minecraft roof, but the concept that I want to show here is that a roof doesn't always have to start, you know, X amount of blocks up. You can have a roof start all the way on the ground and then it comes up and you can do this with just about any, any of these roofs will really, really work with this concept or idea. So play around with it, have fun. Won't spend too much time on this side on how to put it together. You should be pretty familiar with this style already, but you're just going to come in with staircases all the way up to the center block and you can go all the way back down. So the last roof type that I'm going to go over here is actually just a variation of the previous roof that I showed off here. Um, so I just wanted to give you an example that no, you don't have to go up a couple of blocks or you don't have to use just these formations of blocks to achieve a style of roof that you like. This one actually is a lot more grander. It almost has a tent appearance to it. And here is how we put this roof together, just using full blocks and stairs. This is the type of roof that I also used on one of my prior examples for the double arches back over there. So you just go uh, upside down stair, full block, regular stair, and you repeat that pattern all the way up to the top. So this next section here, I wanted to go over how to start combining roofs together to make a more interesting build rather than just a, you know, standard straight build. So the first two examples that I have here are putting your roofs together in a, a cross shape. Now, this isn't always the most interesting thing to go for, but it does give you an idea of how to combine your roof. So we just went with the standard, uh, you know, village design here, and you just come in and you connect them in this corner and you staircase them up. Nothing too crazy there, nothing too complicated to have to, to worry about there. Now, the next design does the same thing, just with a different roof style. So we went for that uh, more of a steeple look for this one and it's the same thing on all four sides here so you can do this with just any sort of roof style there's a block that i missed let's just sneak that in quickly can i do i not have a slab there we go and yeah that'll work in pretty much any roof type that you do you can do this with so the next one that i have here i tried combining two different roofs together so i made a much larger roof and this one right here on top is actually our Viking style roof right there. And then on the sides, I used one of our smaller roofs. So the, again, going with the standard vanilla look uh, and just added that roof in as what would be considered a, I think it's called like a dormer window or an A-frame um, on the side here. And you can, you know, knock these out maybe and put in whatever you want to indicate a, a window there. So you can use, you know, glass planes or fence posts or, you know, whatever you want to do here. I did that on both sides. So this is just trying to show you how you can think about adding two different roof types together. Now these two are pretty similar. So what if we wanted to take something that wasn't as similar? So I came over here. I took the Viking style, the little bit more fancy one and added that into this roof, raised it three blocks up off the ground. And then on the sides here, I took one of our steeple roofs from the beginning. So I think it's, that, that tall one over there and added that in for the windows on the side. So this one is two different roof types. If I come here a little bit on the side, hopefully you can see that these are not following the same design. So you can combine different things together. And then it just becomes a way of how do you want to connect them together? And this one, um, what is supposed to be done is it's supposed to be a full block coming across like that. And you're not supposed to have that stair there. But I decided just to detail it a little bit, add in a slab and then add in uh, one of our stairs here just to make a little bit more a little bit more detail let's get that full block in put the stair in knock that out and put back in our slab and I did that on on both sides because that really does give it a little bit more of that Viking flair and Viking look to it that I'd be doing with this sort of style of roof so these are just a couple different ideas to get you thinking in a mindset of how to combine different roof types together or just how to use your roofs in more interesting ways than just a standard straight build, um, which is what we did over there. And then even if you are doing straight builds, you can combine your roof types together to make something that's a lot more interesting looking 
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, this is part one. I'm gonna have a second part coming out next week that's gonna be talking more about how to detail these roofs, different things that you can do to make your roofs stand out and be even better looking than what we've done here in today's video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button um, and get notified for when that video comes out. If you learn anything new in this video, leave a comment down below. Tell me what roof type did you like the best? What sort of ideas are you looking for in the next roof design video? And uh, until next time, guys, this has been Bowtie. I'll see you later.